Look at Chow B. 2018. Hi. Hello. It is me, your host, Baby Blue. And today I'm going to be giving you tips for Okeechobee 2020. Um, the only reason why I'm doing this video is because I went in 2017 and I was so unprepared. Um, no one told me what to expect and I know that there's going to be a lot of first timers because the lineup this year is beautiful. We got Tipper, Bass Nectar, Earth Gang alone. Like, oof. And if I wasn't doing other festies this year, um, I would be going back. I thought the music at Okeechobee was fantastic and the weather beautiful um but the crowd wasn't really my thing so I don't think that I'll be returning to Okeechobee um and if I did there would have to be a lot of other reasons why I would go um but Okeechobee is great especially if you've never been to a music festival especially if you've never been to a camping music festival um the first tip I have for you guys is it's Florida, but it is still springtime, right? So it's going to be sweltering hot during the day and freezing cold at night. People do not believe me when I tell them this because they say, but it's Florida. Okay, well then don't believe me and then you can freeze at night, right? Okay. During the day, um, they have what they call like um, Aquachobi, and there is, um, it's like their version of a beach. In 2017, the sewage backed up into that. So I wouldn't suggest swimming in that beach, um, but definitely like bring a bathing suit. You're going to be sweating a lot during the day. Bring a water gun. Um, also, um, you can put your feet in the water. I just really wouldn't suggest like diving in that. I wouldn't want to be in that um, myself. Um, but Aquatoba, the sand does get pretty hot. And in the early, early, early mornings, um, it's still a little chilly. But you can guarantee that by like 9 or 10, you will have already been up because the inside of your tent is cooking you a lot. Pack warm clothes. Um, if you are someone who wears a pash, then bring it. Like, if you only wear pashes when it's cold, then I would still definitely bring like two to mix and match with your outfit. Um, bring a cute hoodie or buy one. Um, they have their merch. I don't know. I found this from, um, someone, like, walking Festy Ground selling it. Look, it's got the Nectar logo. March 2018. Um, I don't see any other logos on this. But, yeah, obviously Nectar was there. He's been there since the fest started in 2016, I believe. Um, yeah, it's going to be sweltering hot during the day, freezing cold at night. If you got a onesie, bring that shit. I have a kangaroo onesie. Um, it is super warm and comfy. Trust me, you're going to need it. Tip number two. Um, tip number two, I would say be sure to bring a camel back or a fuck ton of water bottles. And when I say fuck ton of water bottles, I mean refillable ones, resealable ones. We're trying to limit our plastic use, right? 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 Okay, but seriously, water. Bring your own container to hold your water. Do not spend six bucks on a water at a fest. That is crazy. You will run out of money when you can be using that money for food, also very expensive, or merch, which is also overpriced, but I get it, they gotta make a month. So, do not spend six dollars on a water every time you want a water. Bring a reusable bottle. Carry that shit around with you. Now, I don't know what the bag rules are going to be, but with all the drama that's been instilling um, in our everyday lives, such as school shootings 
and just uh, safety in general. I do not know how their bagging situation will be. Um, I know some places have been making a very strict rule about bringing in clear only bags. Um, though I highly doubt Chobi will be one of those to follow. Um, I know they are going to have bag size restrictions. Either way, make sure you can fit a bottle of water in that bag. Uh, tip number three. One, two, three. Um, look, I know you're at a festival. And I know you think everyone's there to show love, spread love, and be love. But uh, let's be real here. There are some evil people in this world, and there are some people who only go to festivals to steal from attendees. Do not wear your fanny pack on your butt. I don't understand. The whole concept of a fanny pack is to have it right there in front of you so you can grab that shit. Do not put it on your backside because in those huge crowds, People will unzip it and take all your shit out. And next thing you know, three hours later, you want to look for your phone because you were missing your friend. And uh, you can't call them because you don't have a phone. Or they have been using all your money from your wallet that you left in the fanny pack that you have not in front of you. I learned this the hard way. At Electric Forest, I felt someone trying to, I heard my bag unzip, right? And I turned around and made dead eye contact with this guy because I knew that it was him that unzipped it. There was no one else behind me. And I turned back around, put my bag in front, turned back around, and he was gone. So, yes. And at Hangout Fest, Hangout Fest is really bad. And I will make another video about Hangout Fest. But this girl that was in my group had a group of guys come up to her and take her shit and literally hand her her phone case after they stole her phone. There's some savage ass people out here. Do not make your shit reachable to these savage ass people. Um, tip number four. If you're paranoid because of what I just said, Buy a lock and key for your tent. Put your super, super, super valuable valuables in your car if it is car side camping, which Okeechobee is, uh, and lock it and bring your keys. People want to bring their phones everywhere, but you're at a festival, you know? Enjoy the music. Make a meetup spot for your friends afterwards. Um, because I doubt you'll have very good service with like 12,000 other people looking for a signal that is blocked because you have like three, I think Chobi has four stages. They have the Be Here Now and the Aqua Chobi. Oh, and then there's Jungle 51, so they have five stages. Um, either way, it's, you're not going to have the best cell service. Make a designated place to meet up with your friends. You know, that, that could be tip number six. Make a backup plan because you will get separated. Because you shouldn't feel like you have to stay with your friends if you want to go explore. You spent 350 bucks on a ticket, right? If your friends don't want to check out somebody that you want to check out, deuces. See him later, you know? That is tip number seven. Don't let your friends let you miss people you want to see. That is such a big thing. I don't get it. I do not understand. If you and all your friends spent all this money to go to this festival, you should be able to explore it how you want to, how you see fit. If your friends don't want to see that person, but you don't want to go alone, you're, you're going to be very unhappy. You're going to miss a lot of sets that you wish you didn't miss. You can't make your friends go see somebody that they don't want to, but you shouldn't have to miss somebody you want to see because they don't want to go. 
it's okay you find friends that's like that, that's the time to go and do everything that you wanted to do everything you wanted to check out like come on you're an adult you can do some things by yourself and the last tip is be a part of festy culture no one is too good to have a good time no one is too good to have a good time shit happens at festies all of them right you forget something you lose something something gets stolen you lose your friends they get too fucked up now they're sick like it's okay it's okay it's going to be okay your phone gets stolen okay you lose your pictures i know it sucks but like enjoy that while you're there because those three or four days are gonna go by just like that and you're gonna wonder where you were for it you know enjoy it live it breathe it be about it also pick up your trash they rent out this land so they can throw this huge party for us Pick up your shit. Don't be a child. You are a grown adult. Or even if you're like 15, 16, 17 going to these festivals, pick up your shit. What the fuck? That's common sense. Don't throw your trash on the ground. There's a fucking trash can within 20 feet of you. I promise. That shit is disgusting. No one wants to step on your half-eaten pizza. Also, also, please, 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 throw your cigarette butts away. Please. You shouldn't really be smoking because I care about you, and I care about your lungs, and I don't want you to, you know, not be able to run away in a zombie apocalypse, you know, because you uh, have shitty lungs because you're smoking cigarettes. But, you know, also be mindful of people. Like, if you're in a whole crowd filled with people, please don't light up a cigarette because there are people like me who have weak lungs uh, from secondhand smoke and <coughs> I will literally cough to make you feel bad. I don't want your cancer in my face. Please, just be mindful. The whole point of music festivals is to have a good time and y'all have a common interest of music and you want to be with other like-minded people. Have a good time. Be a good person. This is your chance to be who you want to be, who you've always wanted to be, your creative self, your spiritual self. Take the lead, you know? Don't feel pressured to go see people you don't care about seeing. Do what you want. For the next three or four days, your only concern is that you are having a great time with people that you care about. Right? Also, being a part of Festy culture means testing your drugs. Yes. I cannot, I cannot stress this to you enough. You can buy um bunk science if you go to festies you'll know what i'm talking about bunk science will test your drugs for free they have been at every festival that i have been in they have a huge totem that says bunk science on it and a little uh testing tube with the universe in it and a question mark they will test your drugs for you for free do not buy drugs from strangers and do them without getting tested Get it tested. You don't want to do fentanyl. You don't want to do meth. You don't want to do crack. You don't want to fucking accidentally have an overdose. These are real concerns, real problems. I have seen it firsthand. Test your drugs. Test your drugs. Say it with me. Test your drugs. Test your drugs. Like, I cannot get this point across enough. Test them. I promise you, the money that you spend on a test kit 
will be so worth it and the paranoia will be gone from the back of your mind knowing that you are doing one the shit that you paid for two you won't be dying from fucking fentanyl and three you won't accidentally have an overdose because you didn't know what the shit you were fucking taking in the first place right also um there are a lot of undercovers at Chobi. um <laughs> I have ran into a few, so be very mindful. If they feel sketchy, if they don't feel like they're really about it, like you'll you'll be able to feel that. Then believe that. Trust that intuition, my dude. Know that they probably are an undercover, and uh, you really shouldn't be buying drugs from people you don't really trust, anyways. Also, being a part of festy culture, you should also 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 ask them to test it for you like before you even buy it and you don't have a test kit tell them that you want to test it before you buy it save yourself some money i mean i don't know about you but that's pretty smart okeechobee they got the tea lounge it's beautiful i don't even want to ruin it for you and um, i have a video of it up on my instagram babyblue.tv um, there's hammocks, there's Christmas lights wrapped on the trees, and there's tea. It is beautiful, it's serene, it kind of takes you out of all the busyness um, that you're experiencing at Okeechobee. Uh, sometimes it gets a little overwhelming, and it kind of just relaxes you, right? Don't be a dick. Do not be a dick. You are at a fest with thousands of other people. Be not only mindful of that, let them in on your experience. This is how you connect with people. If you're having a great ass time and like someone's looking for a seat and there's no more cushions and you've been sitting for two hours, get up. And if you don't wanna get up, share your cushion with them. Sharing is caring. Unless it's like STDs or meth or like, come on now, let's, come on. You know how to share. There's no need to be stingy. So, here's my uh, <laughs> tip video about Okeechobee. Sunscreen. Don't put your fanny pack in the bag. Um, be a decent fucking person. Pick up your shit. And, uh, you know, help contribute to what it means to be a hippie, right? We want to love each other. We want to make everybody feel welcome. This is your time to make friends, lifelong friends. I met one of my best friends at Electric Forest. Like, I met one of my best friends, actually, at Okeechobee. That was our first fest together. Um, that's my girl, I love her so much. And now she and I pretty much go to almost every single festi together. Um, and I wouldn't have even had that opportunity if it wasn't for Okeechobee. But I met her because of Bass Nectar. Um, he introduced me to her and been best friends ever since. So really, um, if you are allowing yourself to be open and vulnerable to the festy experience and taking advantage of every opportunity, you're going to have a great fucking time. Don't forget to stay hydrated. And if you've given a shit about anything that I have said, then like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. Share with the people that you're going to Okeechobee with. I'm going to leave a link to the lineup app for Okeechobee down in the description box below my social medias. And uh, I'll see y'all next video. Bye.